In this video, I will show you how to make the stack designs using Adobe Illustrator. Start with a new artboard, click your top tool, and click your text. Then adjust the size of your text. You can change your font if you would like. I am using Sports World. It is a free font on Defont. So now that we have our text type and you have chosen your font, you will just make copies of this font. You can do this by right clicking and selecting copy and paste. You can also use your keyboard shortcuts. For Mac, it's option and then drag. For this design, we are going to do five copies of the text. So now select all of the text, right click and select create outlines. Now we will need to turn each set of letters into a compound path. To do this, you can click on the word, then go to object, compound path and make. You can also use your keyboard shortcuts. And if they disappear, don't worry. Just highlight them all and select the color from the color panel over here. Now each set of words is its own compound path. So now we are going to take our rectangle tool and we are gonna make a rectangle about that size. You will position this rectangle over a portion of the text. You can position this wherever you want. For the first one, I usually like to cover up a little less than half. We're gonna keep this one intact and we are going to duplicate this rectangle and do the same for the bottom set. Keep this one at a little less than half as well. And then duplicate the rectangle again and cover up a little bit more of the text this time. And then duplicate again and do the same on the bottom. Now we will just select each set of letters and go to our Pathfinder panel and click on minus front. Do that for each set. And now we will adjust the letters. Just line them up. And now we have a stack set of text. To be sure this is aligned correctly, go to your align panel, go to align objects, horizontal align center and that will line everything up. Now you can leave it like this or you can make it a little more interesting by selecting your center text and then turn off your fill color, click on your outline color and let's make a little bit heavier stroke like that. That gives it an outlined effect. Now if you are making this to be a cuttable file like an SVG file for vinyl or something like that, you will need to turn these outlines into a cut line because when you zoom in you see you only have one line going through the center of the letter and that would not cut out an outline. So to do this, we will select the text and release the compound path and then select all of the letters and go to object and expand. Make sure fill and stroke are both check marked and click OK. And now when you zoom in, you can see your outlines are around the edge of the letter as opposed to the center of the letter. So now when you cut this file, it will cut an outline shape instead of just a solid shape. 
And that is two different looks we can get with the stacked text.